year 2021 was marked by a significant increase in anti-Asian hate crimes. People have come out in masses to protest. So we're going to call it what it is. It is a goddamn hate crime. Volunteers have patrolled streets and some Asian Americans have taken up self-defense. This last year has been such a very, very challenging year for our community. Uh, we knew that once COVID hit, we saw uh, people talking about boycotting Chinese restaurants, people avoiding Chinatown, people uh, avoiding anybody who looked Asian or harassing anybody who looked, a looked Asian. In scores of incidents, victims were brutally attacked. On top of all the pain and tragedy, their families faced dramatic bills to cover hospital, funeral, legal and other costs, with many relying on online donations. But that's about to change. Victims and families will be compensated for a variety of costs resulting from these hate crimes, according to a recent law that's allocated some $165 million from the state budget surplus for the cause. Two-thirds of this budget, $100 million over the next three years, will go to addressing uh, the real needs of victims as well as uh, prevention measures. Uh, we need to make sure we have language accessible, uh, culturally competent, comprehensive services to our community members who have been hurt by this violence. But we also need to make sure that we're moving forward with innovative ways to prevent this from happening. Groups providing escorts for older residents who fear attacks and organizations that provide education on systemic racism will also be eligible for the funding. It will also be used to create a statewide hate crimes hotline to collect reports in victims' own languages and to direct them to police or legal or health services. It's hoped that the additional resources could help Asian residents of the state feel more secure in 2022 than they did last year. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.